Hello, this is Pat Hindle, Editorial Director at Microwave Journal. It's my pleasure to welcome you to today's webinar on the importance of impedance control in PCB design presented by Sierra Circuits. Before we begin the presentation, let me cover a few items about the ON24 webinar platform. In the center of the screen, you will see a window containing the presentation. You may enlarge this to full screen for a better view of the slides. The window on your screen labeled resource list contains a copy of the presentation, which you can download at any time. The webinar is being recorded and it'll be available for replay, so you can watch it again and recommend it to colleagues who weren't able to join this live event. You'll find a link to the recording in the events section of the Microwave Journal website. If you have technical problems, please click on the yellow box with the question mark at the bottom of your screen. It will take you to a helpful user's guide. If you'd like to ask a question, just type it into the Q&A box on your screen and we'll address them at the end of the session. PCB trace controlled impedance design is a foundation of today's high frequency analog and high speed digital applications. It ensures the propagation of signals without disturbance or distortion. Undesirable controlled impedance design will lead to trace undercut, signal reflection, insertion loss, signal distortion, ground bounce, trace width and stack up inconsistencies. For an efficient design, the designer should make sure that the manufacturer has the ability to provide the right pattern size, position, and tolerances. This webinar will highlight the importance of controlled impedance in modern PCB designs and the various design parameters that you need to be considered in a design. Our presenters today are Amit Ball, who has been the PCB industry for 20 years. He is the Director of Sales and Marketing at Sierra Circuits. His passion is to empower tech companies to achieve their visions and change the world. We also have Anil Racker. He is our circuits design manager. He has over 20 years of experience and specializes in complex and high-speed PCB design. And finally, we have Dilip Kumar, who is a design engineer at Sierra Circuits. He is an expert in PCB design and Altium designer, Allegro, and Orcad. He is also specialized in fixing DFM and DFA issues for a smooth fabrication process. So at this point, I will turn the presentation over to Sierra Circuits. Uh, hi, good morning, everybody. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, and, you know, Sierra Circuit's been around for a while, and you know one of our callings, I would say, is to educate PCB designers, uh, especially the ones starting out in the industry, uh, because it's hard to gain the knowledge needed to be successful. Uh, so we've done a lot of webinars, and we're going to be doing a lot more, as well as uh, classes. So you can uh, multi-day classes. You can check out our website, uh, you know, for all those things that are coming up. Uh, so this is just one part of our complete educational program that we have for our customers. Uh, and, you know, it's really to empower the customer yourself uh, to create good designs that work the first time. So, you know, this presentation is about controlled impedance. Uh, a lot of the stuff in the beginning uh, is uh, motherhood and apple pie, and then we get to a little bit more examples. Um, and some exciting news at the end. Uh, so uh, let's just get started. So that's me. Oops. Yeah, so what is controlled impedance, right? So, you know, it's we see it more and more on our designs as they come in and not everything is done properly or set up for success. So understanding the basics will help set, set up for success as well as some details that we'll also go, kind of go over. But controlled impedance is characteristic impedance of a transmission line formed by a PCB trace and its associated reference planes. Uh, very important concept here, the reference planes. Uh, you know, in actual design versus planned design, you know, what ends up being the reference plane. I have a quick example uh, where, you know, the designer thought his reference plane was this, but it actually wasn't because there was absence of copper in that specific area for that reference plane. So you have to really look at that very carefully. 
So uh, these, this is the basic model for control impedance. So, you know, trace width, trace thickness, uh, the difference between the width at the bottom of the trace and the top of the trace, that's also taken into account here. And then this magic number, which is the dielectric constant, uh, the ER. Every PCB fabricator kind of looks at ER differently. Uh, the bottom line is that uh, at the end of manufacturing, you're measuring your characteristic impedance, and if you have to adjust the ER for future builds, some manufacturers do that. So ER becomes kind of a, a slippery, uh, slippery number that way. Um, so just uh, just wanted to point that out. So here is, you know, what I would say are the basics again of single ended, uh, and we'll go over differential pair as well. Sorry, I'm going too fast. Yeah. So the key here is that um, for differential pairs, uh, we'll assume that for that both of the lines of the pair are identical and uniform. So that's what we assume, and then they have the same separation at each uh, for, from each other at the entire length of the line. And of course, that's not totally true, but that's what our assumption is right now. And so these are the characteristics of the lines um, designated as a differential pair. And so when, when they're close together, the presence of the current in line two will induce some voltage in line one, and the current in line one will induce some voltage in line two. So, you know, the voltage in line one will not only depend on the current in line one, uh, you know, it also depends on the current in line two through the coupling or mutual impedance uh, between the two lines. So that's that's what this equation is all about, and that's a, you know an important concept.